The introductory alignment lesson has students working with base 10 blocks um, to multiply a two digit by one digit number. So they're multiplying 23 times 6 and you ask them to use base 10 blocks to model that problem. And so students might model it this way. They have six groups of 23. Um, and then different students may model it differently and they may arrange it differently because it can be easier to count when the blocks are arranged in tens and ones. So I'm gonna rearrange them to show six groups of 23 this way. So I'm gonna show 20 and then three on each row. So you can see then that I have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of 23. So I've modeled it this way. And the reason why arranging it this way, um, on page 515 of the Math Expressions Teacher Edition, you'll see it connects, connects the base 10 blocks to the area model or rectangular model. And so arranging it this way will help them to move into the area model. It becomes a smaller step because they're now then creating a drawing of this concrete approach that they've just done the day before. Um, students are essentially going to create partial products and use a divided rectangle to help them keep track. So I'm going to show that now with the same problem. And note that the area model um, is also called rectangular array. It's called the rectangle model, rectangle sections. Um, they're all those terms are used interchangeably and they mean the same thing as far as how you're going to work with students. So in this I'm going to draw a rectangle to show my partial products and I'm going to split 23 into the tens and ones and so now I have 20 plus 3 and I'm multiplying times 6. So I record my factor over here um, and then my factor up here is split into the tens and ones. And So now I'm going to multiply each partial product. So I have 20 times 6 and I'm going to write that here and that equals 120. And then here I'm going to write 3 times 6 because I'm doing my 1's times my 6 and that gives me 18. And then I'm just going to add my partial products, 120 plus 18, which gives me 138. So it really connects this idea from the concrete, where I had my six rows of 23. Now I'm just dividing that into sections and splitting them into tens and ones to show that. It doesn't matter here whether you do 6 times 20 or 20 times 6, and you can explain that to students because of the commutativity of multiplication.